Some holy mackerel news tonight. One of the strangest conspiracy theories to bog down conservative politics in recent months has been the theory that President Obama isn't actually president. That despite him posting his birth certificate online, despite all contemporaneous evidence to the contrary, the birther conspiracy theorists believe that the president wasn't really born in Hawaii, he was born somewhere foreign, and therefore he isn't really president. Americans love a good conspiracy theory, present company included. And there are always conspiracy theories around, but the birthers are changing American politics by making inroads into the Republican Party. Ten Republican members of Congress are now signed on to proposed birther legislation in Congress, and non-birther, relatively moderate Republicans, such as Mike Castle of Delaware, are finding that their normal Republican political events, like town hall meetings in their home districts, are getting taken over by these conspiracist folks. We have an incredible piece of tape for you. This was shot earlier this summer. This is a recent Mike Castle town hall in Delaware. Kind of amazing footage. This lady in red has had her hand up for some time. Thank you. Congressman um, Castle, I want to know, I have a birth certificate here from the United States of America saying I am an American citizen with a seal on it, signed by a doctor, with the hospital administrator's name, my parents, my date of birth, the time, the date. I want to go back to January 20th, and I want to know why are you people ignoring his birth certificate? Yeah. Yeah. He is not an American citizen. He is a citizen of Kenya. Birther conspiracy theorists are taking over normal Republican politics. Some smart Democratic strategists should take credit for starting this movement.